What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, you can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 10.4 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. If you're excited for today's episode, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, leave any comments you have, and please share this video with anybody you think might like it. That would very much help me out. Now let's see what the old god has to say about us solving that last mystery. Though the roads are closed. Roads leading out of town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. Okie dokie. Let's go to our home. Take the key. Open that, nothing. Open that, nothing. Hit that, nothing. Nothing doing. Okay, can't do shit. Okay. Um... Now we have far out fable of a fear festival or a sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Let's go for the sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Shall we powerful people? Sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean, a dark writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it, not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun fi to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Shit. Let's investigate. And of course we have to discard two item cards to complete this quest. Um, I actually am going to use that. Uh, hot bath, running shoes, knowledge. Oh, that's worthless, so. Hmm. Hmm. I snort the corpse dust. That's an interesting decision to have made. Um. I'll do. I'll, I'll do. I'll do folklore studies and uh, dex. Dexterity. You start your investigation, hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Okay. Um. I have 59% doom and six experience. I'm gonna go to the school, try to recruit somebody. Come on, man. Plus one dexterity, that's fucking great. Akito, thank you. Oh, I just, oh, she smiles faintly, okay. All right. downtown with us. Can we get some funds? No. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. Okay. Let's jog around the block. Strength check. Failure. Half asleep. You stumble over the pavement and trip. Minus one stamina. What the fuck? Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. What? Um. Doesn't want me to go downtown or to the mansion or the hospital. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I kind of want to go to the library. Memory extract. Hell yes. That one's really, really good. Um, anyway, to downtown with us. Very excited about that. Oddly shaped package. Oh, what up? Something evil, it looks like. Um, when you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. 
It's marked with your name. When you reach for the package, you stop suddenly, seeing a familiar face in a nearby advertisement. Something truly evil now has your s has your scent now. Okay, it was the something evil. That's hilarious. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Shit. Let's investigate the mansion. Oh, hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way, discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room giggling. It's the puppet matron, y'all. Wow. Um. 24 HP. 100% chance to hit. Holy... Jesus. So I can eat 20 HP just right there. It's pretty goddamn good. Um, she stabs you in the shin. What a bitch. There, I'll do 20 more damage. You only need four. You jerk. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. Bad way to go. Bad way. Um, let's investigate some more, shall we? There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. That's just a legend, right? Rifle through the cover. <laughs> I found you at last. What the F? Oh, I don't have my info about the last case. That's sad, actually. I wanted that. Huh. To the seaside. Town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden ch temple occupies the small hill at the town center. Okay, I would like to recruit somebody, but I really need reason. It doesn't matter if you believe or not, the smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down, plus two reason. Hell yeah. Um... I'm only at 71% doom. I'm gonna go rest again. What's that? That looks... Oh, what up? He's on my computer now? That's fucking hilarious. He knows where I live. That's hilarious. You take a short nap on your bed. You sit on a couch and read your favorite book. Wait, what's that? Something evil knows where you live. That's really funny. Um, But I did need that. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Yes, they do. Air Force! The military exercise makes you feel safer, but are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there? Plus 4% doom, plus 2 reason. Hell yeah. Down with that. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get the, uh, extra... the extra stuff on this one. Whoa. Is that something evil? What? The hell? No, that's student F. Was that my mask? That's quite interesting. Uh, stop. This is a crime scene. You are halted by sweaty police officer. Behind him, two other policemen. Are packing something in black bags. Try to learn what happened. Luck check failure. God damn it! You managed to catch a glimpse of a corpse with a crushed head. God damn! Blood and gore is everywhere on the sand. Minus two reason. Shit! I am going to use memory extract. I think I'm going to use it twice because I don't give a fuck. 
You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Let's investigate the beach. Oh, I like that picture of the moon over there. The beach. Remember that movie? The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The bl ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge breathless. Possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. Cannot make out the figures on board. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight and it is pitch black again. There's nothing to do now. You head home. Weird chant still in your head. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Ending B. Uh, missing sailors, new events available. That's awesome. Uh, plus 30 experience, minus 4% doom, plus one day. I wonder what that means. New events available. It's cool. Anyways, powerful people. That is it for this one, which means that you watched the whole thing, which means you probably liked it. So please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, comment on this video if you have anything to say, anything to add, and please share it with anybody you know that uh, might like it. I'm thinking 570 million people is a good number for you to shoot for as far as sharing this video. So please go ahead and make as big of a dent into that as you can. And in the meantime, my name is Eli. You can call me Supergood. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, powerful people. Peace and love.